students and welcome. I'm at home sick and I just wanted to give you the lesson. So let's go ahead and go over the warm up that you've hopefully done. And so we, um, and opposites are very important when we do one step equations. So the opposite of add is subtract. The opposite of subtract is add. The opposite of multiply is divide. The opposite of divide is multiply. The opposite of square root, and that's what this symbol is right here, in case you've forgotten. The opposite of square root is squared, and the opposite of squared is square root. And we're going to be using those in our geometry unit, so I just wanted to go ahead and throw them in there. So from the email, go ahead and make sure you've copied down the vocabulary. We have the rule of opposites, and to get something, you do the opposite, and that's the property of inverses. And then the brother-sister rule is that you must do the same thing on both sides of the equal sign in order to keep it equal. And these are my rules of algebra, and you'll use them all through high school and college. But you probably won't hear teachers call them what I call them. And so I know that in seventh grade, Miss Shiggett will call it the property of inverses. So make sure you listen for that and know it's the same thing. Then we have our steps to solving one step equations and make sure you have these written on the paper that you're going to turn in at the end of class. And so you're going to draw a line through the equal sign, circle the X, do the opposite to get the number out of the room with X, and you're going to do that on both sides. Then you're going to cancel and solve. Now this may not make sense yet, but wait till we do some example problems. So here we have uh, my notepad, and the first example problem we're going to do is x plus 12 equals 6. So we have x plus 12 equals 6. Now, the first thing we want to do is draw a line through the equal sign. And so that line needs to be a big old line all the way down. Then we're going to circle our x so we know that we want x all alone. So x likes to be alone. Some of you may like to be alone all in your room and there's this 12 year old pesky little brother or big brother that's in the room and we need to get rid of him. So the opposite of plus 12 is minus 12. So we're going to minus 12 to get that pesky 12 year old out of your room that's bothering you because 12 year olds are good at bothering you. And we're going to minus 12 on both sides of our wall because he's going to have to go to another room. You draw a big horizontal line. Now you have a plus 12 and a minus 12 and that makes zero. Do not erase these and do not write the zero. We're actually just going to cross them out using one big line. And I want to see you do that on your work. Then left on the we have left on the left the x and then goes the equal sign and 6 minus 12. So that's where we get our money trick going on there. You have $6, you owe me 12. So what's going to go on there is you're going to have to, in the end, owe me $6. So our answer is not just negative six, but X equals negative six. Cause what we're trying to do is find that mystery number. So if you do negative six plus 12, it equals six. And there's two, you know, a couple different ways to check your answer. You can put it back into the equation as your mystery number x. And we also have this way to model our equations. So we have x plus 12 equals 6 on our virtual manipulatives. And this is just math playground. It's called Algebra Equations. I have the link in, included in your email. And so we would draw that wall through the equal sign and we would put x on this side by clicking this way and we would have 12 on the left as well and it's a positive 12 1, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 on this side of our balance we have 6 and it's a positive 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 
and you see this green check mark so you're going to click that then they're all nice and balanced and it tells you to isolate the x tiles and isolate means get it by itself so the x wants to be all by itself and there's this pesky 12 year old in there with it so how do we get rid of 12 positive ones we do the opposite which means 12 negative ones so when you get a chance to do this on your own you'll click the negative one 12 times and it's slow make sure you have your earbuds on so nobody else has to tolerate the sound And as I keep going, look what's happening on the right. We canceled all the positive ones and we're getting the negative ones over there. So when we finally get the X all by itself, it balances with negative six. So we click our green check mark and X equals negative six. And that's a great way to see how the equation works and to also check your answers. Then you'll see this button down here and you'll want to do a one step equation. So that's what we're doing today. Do not do the two step. That's actually a seventh grade concept. So we're going to do the one step equations and it'll give you another one. And this one looks kind of funky. So let's talk about it. What this is, is they just write it a little differently. It's really X minus 13 equals negative 24. So let's go to our paper and write that down. So we have x minus 13 equals negative 24. So then I like to get a different color. And we're going to draw that big line through the equal sign. Circle the X, so make sure you're going back to those steps. And we have a minus 13 that's in the room with X. So your big old negative brother is in there, and he's 13 years old, and he's bothering you. And to get rid of a minus 13, we do the opposite. And the opposite of minus is plus. So we're going to add 13 to both sides. Ooh, we got those negatives going on here, so I hope you're comfortable with those. So when we add 13, that's that property of inverses, and when we do it on both sides, that's that brother-sister rule, because if that pesky brother gets $13, then you want $13 too, so we got to keep it equal. We're going to cross out these 13s, because minus 13 plus 13 is going to be 0, so we're just going to cross that out. On the left, we have zero, I'm sorry, X equals, and then we have negative 24 plus 13. And that would translate as you owe me $24 and you have 13. So once you give me that $13, you're still gonna owe me $11. So let's take a look and check that. We can check it a couple different ways. We can take the negative 11 and put it back into our equation. Negative 11 minus 13, goodness. That means you owe me $11 and you owe me $13. That would mean that you owe me a total of $24. And we can also take a look at it over here. Now they do it kind of funky because they want you to realize that the 13 is actually negative. Minus and negative are the same thing. So picture that wall through the equal sign, and we have the left side of our equation and the right side of our equation. So what we have here is we need an x over here, and then we need 13 negatives. Then over here we need 24 negatives. Then you're going to click on positive one to be able to cancel those out. 
Once you've clicked your green check mark, 